This video is sponsored by eToro. Open your account today by clicking the link in the description. Cakebox 2024 Stock Analysis Cakebox is a British company listed on the London Stock Exchange that operates a franchise of cake bakery retail stores. The company is very small compared to most investment opportunities, with a market capitalisation of only £68 million and a share price of 170p a share. Founded in 2008 with a single store in London, the company is certainly considered a growth stock with a drive for consistent expansion. Something unique about Cakebox is that their cakes do not contain eggs. This may seem very insignificant, but gives the cake a far creamier flavour and texture which is very appealing and further caters to dietary restrictions imposed by many certain lifestyles and religions. Notably, there are over a million Hindus and over 500,000 Sikhs in England alone, most of whom are culturally opposed to consuming eggs, which are present in the vast majority of cakes on the market. Cakebox sells cakes through its stores, franchise stores, kiosks, and through its online store, all based 100% in the United Kingdom. The business is very simple, they just sell cakes to those looking for professionally made delicious cakes for a special occasion. The target consumers for Cakebox appear to be younger adults and parents who are less interested in baking themselves and would prefer to offer the product as a gift. The business began in 2008 with a single concept store led by Sukram Chamdal, later expanding to franchising in 2009. Chamdal remains the CEO to this day and holds 25% of all shares outstanding, giving him a huge personal stake in the company's future. Overall, management are very dedicated and hold 44% of the company's shares with no intention of selling. Cakebox has quickly gained a foothold in the market through aggressive retail expansion and has become the only significant cake-based franchise in the UK. For a company as small as Cakebox, brand recognition is high and positive, with a recent survey showing 40% of all consumers were aware of the company likely due to the bright purple banners presented above stores and incredible display of cakes always on show. The biggest advantage that Cakebox has presented is its scalability. As the only large fresh cake retailer in the UK, competition is against infrequent small local bakeries and lower quality cakes found in supermarkets. Therefore, the company has been fighting to gain market share in a league of its own. Seeing great success with expansion, the race has been to expand more efficiently to equip each store with the resources required to maximize profitability. Competitive advantage continues to grow as Cakebox expands with a more efficient network, better economies of scale, and increased brand recognition. The market that Cakebox operates in is the cakes and pastries market in the United Kingdom and has a full annual turnover of £3.5 billion a year. Unfortunately, there are no credible reports to only indicate a market for cakes. Rates of growth in this market are speculative due to the vague nature and identity of the products contained within it, but are estimated to range from 2 to 10% annually, an industry with moderate growth. Special events are the driving forces behind cake sales. Most of these are year-round, such as birthdays, anniversaries, and celebrations, but holidays such as Christmas, Easter, and Halloween stimulate sales in the sector as well. Last year, Cakebox held a 1% market share in the sector of cakes and pastries. This is both impressive and a huge opportunity for growth and expansion further into the remaining available market. There's no detail to indicate the other players present in the market with specific detail. However, I think we can make the assumption that over 95% of the sales originate from within supermarkets, whether this be in the mass-produced bakery section or the pre-packaged goods section. As a luxury item, you would expect the sales of professionally made cakes to decline during recessions or times of economic hardship, but the data points to quite the contrary. We have seen no decline in consumption in the sector during recent recessions, with the only decline in sales for Cakebox and its competitors coming as a result of retail restrictions during the 2020 and 21 lockdowns. Interestingly, there have been many studies that indicate that sweet foods are actually the most priced inelastic items on the market. This means that costs can increase without consumption declining significantly. Furthermore, Cakebox cakes are more often given as gifts, which ensures that their demand will be more consistent as people are often more inclined to spend more money on gifts to friends and family. Cakebox's 2023 end of year income statement showed the following. Revenue, £34.8 million. Gross profit, £17.2 million. And net profit after tax, £4.2 million. Fortunately for investors who prefer control over their own cash allocation, Cakebox, despite being a growth stock, pay out most of their profits in dividends. 
Last year, we saw £3.1 million in dividend payments, with a further £0.8 million used to increase the company's liquidity and cash position. A lot of reinvestment was also made within the business, including £2 million dedicated to the purchase of new facilities to aid in the projected expansion. Cakebox boasts a 49% gross profit margin, with this figure growing year on year as operations expand and economies of scale become more favourable. Management are completely geared towards driving the expansion and increasing this figure with cash flow and reserves, allowing for more reinvestment into the necessary facilities as new franchises open. The company also shows an impressive balance sheet. Total assets, £27.8 million. Current assets, £13.1 million, including £7.4 million in cash equivalents. Total liabilities, only £9.4 million, with just £4.1 million due in the next year. Cakebox is an example of a very well-managed balance sheet. In fact, if Cakebox were to overlook expansion and focus on frugality and reservation, they could almost repay all of their debts completely with just their sitting cash reserves and could certainly accomplish the tasks in less than a year given their current assets. Total assets and equity are growing aggressively at Cakebox every year. Currently, the total equity on the balance sheet is £17.3 million. This has almost doubled from £9.5 million in under three years. There is no question about the company's liquidity. I believe quick ratio is the best representation of liquidity, discounting stock and comparing whether current assets can meet current liabilities. Given that a quick ratio of over 1 represents good liquidity, Cakebox's 2.3 is really quite impressive. In my opinion, it really speaks volumes of management to be so well disciplined in retaining a strong cash position and healthy balance sheet while aggressively pursuing expansion. Most companies would have leveraged their assets as far as possible to grow revenues as quickly as possible to the risk of shareholders, but Cakebox fully intends to allow for growth to come organically while being intelligent with their finances. With a rapidly expanding business and only 1% of market share in the United Kingdom, it seems like there is no limit for Cakebox's growth. Of course, we can't assume that they will ever manage to capture the entire cake and pastries market with just high-end cakes, but I would assess that they should be able to take 5% without experiencing any issues of saturation. Overall, I would predict that the UK could comfortably hold around 1,000 Cakebox franchises running at full profitability, not to overlook the potential for overseas expansion given that the UK contains less than 1% of the world's population. Cakebox could very easily have a future including international expansion as saturation in the UK market is approached. The ultimate metric when assessing growth and potential of Cakebox as a franchise is number of stores. The reported number in 2023 was 205. This had already increased to 214 by the next report only 6 months later. There has also been an expansion in alternative areas of growth, with 18 supermarket kiosks now present since their introduction in 2020, and a rapidly growing online presence with growing website sales. Just 10 years ago, Cakebox had just 20 locations compared to the current 232. That is a 28% annualised growth in locations. Of course, as the business has grown, expansion of this nature has become less possible, but we are currently seeing at least a rate of around 10% per annum. The UK food industry stocks have averaged a PE ratio of 18.4 over the last three years. This has been accompanied by a 7.6% average annual growth. Alternatively, Cakebox has a PE ratio of 15.2, and has seen 28% annual growth in revenue over the last three years. We can't overlook the fact that Cakebox is a smaller company than most listed food companies and may be judged by investors more harshly, but I personally see this as a big value opportunity. Cakebox's share price has previously reached all-time highs of 380p a share in 2021 before promptly crashing to 145p a share. This was due to an accounting scandal in 2021 in which there was an erroneous report of an additional £2 million within the cash flow statement. The CFO and auditors resigned immediately following this. This accounting scandal has created an incredible opportunity for new investors in Cakebox stock. When in history has a £2 million reduction in cash resulted in a £94 million decline in market capitalization? To me, this event single-handedly created one of the greatest opportunities in the market, with both the CEO and CFO, as well as many investors and institutions, selling shares and causing the price to plummet. 
In more recent news, an Australian company recently put in a bid of 160p a share for Cakebox, which was promptly rejected by management, showing investment interest even internationally in the business. When assessing the true value of Cakebox, we will take two approaches. First, we will look at an assessment of present value based on market averages and company circumstances, and then we will speculate on the future of the company. Mathematically calculating the value of the business with the principles of market averages, Cakebox has £17.7 million in equity on the balance sheet, with a most recent annual net profit of £4.2 million. At an industry average of an 18.4 price to earnings ratio, this would equate to an income production value of £77.3 million. I think we can further increase this due to Cakebox almost exceeding the industry growth by a multiple of 4. I would even argue that a price to earnings ratio of 30, although high, would not be unreasonable to account for the additional 20% in growth seen over the benchmark. This would value the income statement at £126 million and lead to £143.7 million total value, warranting a share price of 360 p a share more than double the current market price. Taking the more forward-looking approach, we should ask ourselves where we think Cakebox will be in 10 years' time. If we project that locations will continue to grow at 10% per annum, then there will be over 600 Cakebox stores and kiosks. Revenue, online sales and profitability would have continued to grow modestly, with the company's net profit per location increasing from the current £20,000 per year at around 5% per annum to £32,600 a year, to be conservative with estimations. In this future, annual net profit will be around £20 million by the time that 2034 rolls around. Furthermore, we can assume that equity on the balance sheet has followed suit and increased to around £90 million. Most people also overlook that if you have been reinvesting that big cake box dividend every year, then you likely have 50% more shares than you started with. At an industry standard rate of 18.4 as a multiplier, we can expect a valuation of £368 million, or £458 million if you want to include equity. If this oversimplified assumption took place, then the share price would be around 1145 p a share. But if you had reinvested dividends, then the value per share would effectively be around 1717p. This is a tenfold return on investment from the current price of Cakebox stock. Now, I am not telling you that Cakebox stock will increase by tenfold, but as John Maynard Keynes famously said, I'd rather be vaguely right than precisely wrong. The big return on investment with smaller growth companies like Cakebox will come from the three layers of return. Growing revenue, with increasing profit margins, with a growing PE ratio. With Cakebox, we are seeing and are likely to continue seeing these three layers continue to build on the value of the company. For me, Cakebox is a strong buy. I already own it myself and I will buy more at any opportunity, and I will not be selling for a very long time. Disclaimer. This analysis is for informational purposes only, reflecting my own thoughts and opinions and does not constitute investment advice. My analysis of this company is also completely biased as Cakebox is currently an investment held in my portfolio. Always conduct your own research before making any investment decisions.